out there today. We see them head. You can see just how strong the wind is with the Monaco flags up above there. But once they turn, they will have some more shelter as they move alongside uh, the big boats that have a slight drop down now at the first corner. We'll see some jostling for position in the beginning. And then I think we'll see them settle in, maybe into single file behind the, the king himself on the roads at the moment, Jet Guy. You don't actually need to see any split times yet to know that they've, that field has gone off with intent, hasn't it? Yes, I, I don't think. I think when you are aiming to to get in the realms of, of sub 13 minute racing on the road, you have to start off from the beginning and you have to attack hard. That is that small drop, which of course they will come back up in reverse in the closing stages. Voilà, déjà, that donc, is Davis Langer uh, alongside uh, Chet Guy uh, at the uh, moment. Uh, Further back behind, we can just catch a glimpse of the leading women. I can see Beatrice Chepkoec there. She is being paced by Luke Maas of the Netherlands. And he will try and, I guess, shelter her from a little bit of the wind, but certainly accompany her and keep her on pace as much as possible as she aims. I think that record, world record, women's only of, of Sifana San 1444 is a tough ass. 1448 is actually the mixed race record, uh, which may be more within her sights. Well, Paula, courtesy of your wonderful briefing notes you gave me last night, um, I didn't actually realize that she was coached by Bram Somme. That was a good, very good uh, quality 800 meter runner who actually I competed against on a few occasions. Yeah, I think he's, he's in the past also been very, very well known for his excellent pacemaking duties around the circuit. But yes, does co coach Beatrice, I think, was talking in light of the conditions today, in light of where the prevailing wind is, uh, possibly setting out slightly quicker over the first half to a enable her to be able to coast and recover a little bit when the wind is at her back in the second half there. She is just heading into the tunnels. Formula One fans will know exactly where this field is at this moment. And they will take advantage of the shelter, I think, through the tunnel to just spread out across the road a little bit. And, and, the, and the rise in temperature, I would guess. <laughs> there is Murha Damduni, Bethwell Birgen as well, slotted into the centre. Little known fact that we learned about him is that he's actually one of three brothers and his brothers encompass a three, 204 marathon runner in Bernard Coet and Enoch, Enoch Coet, 331 1500 meter runner who also won the 2001 short course world cross country title. I wonder who gets the bragging rights when they all meet up for occasional suppers and breakfasts. Yeah, a little bit like dinner at the Inga Brits and the there. Yeah, without the cameras. We are just waiting for the first split to come up for the first kilometer. They should have gone through. That hasn't yet come up on our screens, I'm afraid. There we go, 2.41 oh. through the first kilometer. So I guess we would expect that one. We're looking, incidentally, for an attack on the world record on the roads for it to be averaging between 233-234 per kilometre. So a little bit outside of that, but it did include the uphill rise and the second kilometre will, I'm sure, be much quicker. And I, I, we shouldn't gloss over the fact it is pretty blustery out there as well. They're going to get dip. Now, Monaco's an interesting place because you get a lot of wind tunnelling effect between the... Uh, the high rise so there'll be elements of this where the, the conditions are quite benign and then suddenly they're going to hit uh, they'll hit pockets that they're going to have to really work hard in absolutely the wind can buff it and it is coming off the sea here today so Mohammed Murhad Abduni looks out across the water won't be doing that but he will see his native Corsica where he was in fact born just across the water there and that wind can sweep straight in but because of the building work that they're doing along the Lavato beach right here those screens and shelters will in fact help them a lot and you can see them tucking in closely 
to those boards, so the view might not be as nice, but I think they will appreciate those boards being there. Beatrix Czech-Kowicz went through in 2.54 for her first kilometre. There are the kilometre splits up on the screen now. Czech guy's got such a nice, easy style, hasn't he? I mean, he's, his arms are held well, he's got a nice, relaxed stride length. You can see he's working a little harder than, uh, than normal. Yeah, he's tucked into it. There is Merov Bata on the women's side as well, returning from her, her one year out and it's come, has come back racing well so far this year. She did record a 5K national record run on the roads. Sweep down now. Again, they've passed, I guess, the worst bit of exposure to the wind here and they drop back in front of the Meridian Hotel and are approaching the turnabout point. That's where we have all our World Athletics Council meetings. And through two kilometres... They went through in 5.22. So again, pace just still just around about at 13.20 mark. So a little bit slower and obviously deciding that conditions are chilly and they're going to try and do their faster running in the second half of this course. Still a reasonable pack there as well, which will be working together and helping each other. Merif Barter is out on her own. She is a little bit in no man's land. She's behind Chep Koech and ahead of the next group of women which you can see behind. Yeah, around the roundabout and back alongside the opposite carriageway along the Avenue Princess Grace and back on the home stretch now, if you like, back towards us here in the Porche Cube. Well, they all successfully navigated the roundabout. Yeah, I think it's tight, but given some of the hairpin yeah. bends that we can see, it, it's not, it's not too bad. So this is where they see, he's now beginning to stretch that field. Yeah, you can see. Which is it's was inevitable down. given the uh, the nature of the uh, course conditions today. It's almost like he literally took the, yeah. the roundabout as a turning point in the race and has injected some pace, which we'll get an idea of once they get through this the three-kilometre mark. For Birgen and Kit Langen have gone with him. You can see Amdouni further back down the road, struggling to, to stay with him. This will be an uncomfortable uh, few minutes for anybody following the to guy now. See the, the sun not quite reaching them, they're tucked into the shadows just to take advantage of that shelter. It's just adjusting. Oh no, he's removing his arm sleeve. So the pace is warming up, but he's also warming up. They're through three kilometers in 7.59. Yeah. Accelerating down from that clearly picked up the pace. 13.20, but um, I think we're going to see further accelerations there. I'm not sure we're going to see him able to get back close to that 12.51. Keep a close eye on Amduni behind, though, because he is within reach of that 13.18 mark of the European record. There is Merif Barta. Ahead of her is Beatrix Czepkowicz. Just having a look to see if she has yet, she has not yet gone through the three kilometer marker, but must be very, very close to it. Around about 8.54, which does see her. She is within reach of that world record of Sifan Hassan. Yes, she is actually clo much significantly closer to it than, uh, than the men at the moment, pace for pace. That is her pacemaker i have actually seen her go through that marker but i'm assuming they're still running together and there is alice fino of france who ran on her birthday a huge pb indoors in Liévin on tuesday night of 8:53. some of those performances in levan that night were really absolutely top draw it just shows the quality and fortitude the athletes have shown to remain in such great form under such challenging circumstances. Yes, I mean, I think they have to 
keep focused very much on the Olympics late this, later this year and very much hoping that that will st still go ahead, coming out and seizing the opportunity to race. I'm actually not sure that Chep Koec is in there. Luke Maas now appears to be running on his own and I think Meraf Bata is actually leading the women's race here today. She went through three kilometers in 9.35, so she is also, I guess, struggling in the wind over that those first stages, first three kilometers of this race, um, but is clear of Alice Fino in second place in the women's race. Cheptico still can't quite shake that duo of Kip Langet and Bergen settled in behind him and you can see Murad Amdouni alongside the bike behind trying to keep them inside and just to hang on to, to the coattails if you like of this leading trio. I think just a, a, a couple of swift glances behind. I, I don't sense that they were glances of nervousness. I just think he was trying to figure out whether he'd, just how much daylight he'd got and he's beginning to create that now. I think so, and I think we'll, we'll get a chance to ask him afterwards, but I think he's realized that a world record in these conditions wasn't really on the cards, and what is important is that he wins the race here today and wins it convincingly. Uh, that is the split through four kilometers, 10.38 there. So, yeah, he's still around about the, the same pace at 13 minutes. You can see down this hill here it, it's a good opportunity to, to pick up pace as Merif Barta leading the women's race is just coming into that Monte Carlo tunnel so famous from as you said the the Monaco Grand Prix racing but is also welcome when you're running to be able to get a little bit of shelter through there that's majestic running from chapter to guard this point see, just beautiful the, stride length ease with which he covers the ground and almost bounces there the other two working hard to, to try and stay with him and probably have stayed closer than they might have anticipated but he will sweep back alongside us a little bit of a glance at his watch be alongside the big boats up this very steep but short rise by Catherine Milano there and we'll sweep onto the promenade if you like here in the bike and a straight run into the finish where we can see him and are waiting for him he'll be very very satisfied with this performance it's not a record i don't think he he probably realized very early on that was unlikely to happen but he'll come out of here feeling very confident for the rest of the season and he's not too far off in the end with the speed that he's picked up over those closing stages i'm looking to see if we can see him we will see him pass under the red arch that they started under and now down onto the carpet and towards the finishing straight here. Here he comes. And 13, 9, 10 across the line there. Followed by Bergen in second place. Tampoon and Amdouni did cross the line under the European record and in a French record time there. I think we will wait for confirmation of that. I am actually seeing Beatrix Chepkoec pass through four kilometers on our screen. So I apologize for the confusion. We haven't seen anything of her actually on the screen. We are watching Merafata run down the hill now into the finishing. So she's inside the final kilometer. And I'm just trying to watch in front as well to see if there is the shields crossing the line, Rafael Montoya. Iguida has just finished. I mean, that was, I think, a, a cold and disappointing run from him as we are watching Merif Bata alongside the boats. And she will come up again up that rise at the same time. So, a few people watch to see if Beatrix is in the race i think she is there yes. yes she is coming down the finishing yes, straight so apologies for that she now comes down the finishing straight alongside luke Maas and will cross the line in 1440 so that is actually a very an outright world record she takes down 
Sifan Hassan's world record set here yeah. in 2019. I really can only apologize for the confusion there. She wasn't appearing on the splits and wasn't picked up as the